Working from home is really changing the game. It's changing the way we work. It's changing the types of jobs we look for. And also, it's changing how much you can make side hustling. And today, we're gonna to be talking about that. Work from home, respect your time is a theme of work from home nowadays. That's what that's what I'm hearing. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of the workforce is going to just be transitioning to work from home. And we see it in the headlines every day now. More and more companies are coming out with some kind of hybrid model. More and more people are realizing, hey, I could do my job from home. And productivity isn't really at the floor yet. So clearly something good is happening here. It's not something good. A lot of good things are happening. People are benefiting from a lot of these work from home situations. And we're talking about from like side hustling to just regaining your time, a new respect for your time. People respecting their time differently than how they respected it pre-COVID. And I just see a lot of people making tons of money doing a lot of cool things just because they can work from home. Like we're going to talk about all of that mm -hmm. and, you know, get into like the, a little bit of, of the numbers of what people are doing, but it's crazy right now. Oh, How many times have you heard of a business that just became popular during the pandemic because everybody was like working from home? Working from home, you know, and, and how we, like for example, just this is a this is a crazy one. This is like a, a, a different side, but think about Zoom. Like, like how many people really used Zoom or heard of Zoom or communicated with Zoom before work know. from home or before like the pandemic? It's like the whole concept of like how we do things, how we navigate the the types of of, of things we do because we're working from home now. Like some, sometimes people go to the park now. Yeah. I, like for me, like I, I, I go to the park now more than I ever did before. Like, yeah, exactly. And this is the thing, like you, you've ever heard Parkinson's law, like it's going to take someone as long as, you know, the time they allocate to do things. So from people working from home, they're actually trying to do like their job in like shorter periods of time because they're already home. Like when you're in the office, you don't have that much of an incentive to like do it in a short period of time because you're still there from like the whole eight hours. But from home, Parkinson's law, you do it, you know, in a short bit of time. And people are out here doing other things, starting businesses, doing, like, going to parks and things like that. So it's, it's getting crazy. I'm very curious what like everyone else's work from home experience has been. If you've had an opportunity to even work from home, because let's acknowledge that, you know, some people don't have that opportunity yeah, you know, based fact, on their, on their yeah. job, but. Only 20% only, um, of the workforce can work from home right now. But in higher, like, you know, social economic places, like in the U.S., I'm gonna put a graph down. Uh, that number is a little bit higher. And it's only gonna increase as, you know, um, the social economic status of those places are, you know, get higher and higher. So, and also automation and things like that, you know, gonna play a role oh, yeah, into no, automation, work from home. Automation is gonna be a major factor. I mean, if you really think about it, like, Automation and AI are gonna be the engine that normalizes working from home. Like, yeah. think about the types of jobs that kind of get like faded away through AI, or just on, like a manufacturing, customer service, a lot of administrative, straight jobs like receptionists. Like, these jobs can be automated, and if they can be automated, we know mm -hmm. it probably will be. We're so, not saying this is a good thing. We're saying it's gonna happen anyway. At the end of the day, we, we live in a technology era. We live in a you know a society that embraces innovation and innovation for us right now before it was the internet like that boom really set us apart in terms of the society now it's ai and automation it, it's going to be transformative for a lot of things so the way we work for the economy i'm just very curious as to how that you know comes out no that's true that's true let's talk a little bit about businesses man work from home has inspired a lot of people to start and do their own thing and there's some some businesses you wouldn't think are making six figures, man. A lot of people out here making six figures side hustling because they are working from home. Yep. If you don't believe me, let's go over some of them. Virtual assistant. I don't know if a lot of you guys have heard of that, but that is a booming industry right now. You have people just being virtual assistants for others. Before you had to be in person, maybe follow the person around. Now you can do virtually and still add, you know, the same value. And I've seen a lot of virtual assistant businesses start booming off of just Someone having the extra time, you know, doing their job here, they have a little extra time, do some, you know, virtual assistant there on the side, and they're just, some people making more off of that than their actual job. If you're doing something like a virtual assistant, maybe you can finesse more than one opportunity as a... You're definitely doing more than one opportunity. <laughs> like, you're you running a business. Be... Yeah, you're not just one person. Yeah, I've yeah. seen people scale. Like, it's, I didn't think it was possible to scale, but, you know, in every business, there's people thinking of ways mm -hmm. to, to scale at, at yeah. all times. So, if people are scaling that. Also, I see online tutoring. That's going crazy right right now because a lot of people working from home. Uh, we have social media managing as well. That may not seem like a six-figure business, but again, with scalability, like, you know, you're managing a couple different accounts. Yeah. Like, you, you're, you're making a lot of money off of just side hustling 
And a lot of that is inspired by the work from home movement. It's really crazy, man. Freelance writing. Now, if yeah. you guys remember, we did a yeah. video. We're going to link the video up here somewhere, which some uh, woman on making, Fiverr freelancing is making, making almost 400, 400K. 400K, people. 400K. We're going to yeah. link the video. You guys have to watch that. Yeah, that's crazy. And that she could be side hustling with that too. You know, that's that's really yeah. It's See, the freelancing thing. part of it is kind of different, and I respect that game because there's so much money to be made. But I just like how the work from home dynamic has given so many people their time back. Your time. Back. I mean, like if you if you were a productive person anyway, and maybe you get a, a lot of your work done before that eight hour time period that you've been designated to actually right, right. work Parkinson's, yeah. Yeah, like the Parkinson's law, exactly. Mm -hmm. So if you can now dedicate that other time to do other things for you, if, if that means maybe starting that side hustle that you, maybe you wanted to, you know, start a bakery. I don't know. You want you're, you want to you know, start baking goods or that's your passion. Now you have time for it. Yeah. Maybe you wanted to go get another degree. You wanted to go back to school. You didn't really have that kind of time because you're you have an eight hour job. You have you have kids to take you care of. Drive, you know. Yeah, you know, that, the yeah. drive, the commute. That's another thing we didn't even talk about that. The expenses that come with yeah. commuting and how much money you're you're saving from working from home. Time too, yeah. Yeah, money and time. That's that's really all you know. Making money is about. If if you're making money and you don't have the time to enjoy it. What's, what's really the point? I mean, I, yeah, yeah, you're dying to live and you're living to die. Which one is it, man? Which one? Which one? That's true. I mean, so Absolutely. more of the story is you got to try to make more money. That's what it sounds like. A lot of people, if, if your income is staying the same or if it's going down, unless if you lost your job, that's different. But we're seeing a lot of people expand their income and just like increase it just off of the opportunities that are available. So if you're not doing that, and working from home, you better start brainstorming because there's tons of ways to, to expand all that. Yeah, and just take advantage of the the time that you have available to you now because you can work from home. You get yeah. At the end of the day, don't, don't get me wrong. I work from I home now. Have. Like I work from home now, and sometimes like working from home is just as busy, if not more busy than like sometimes I really just won't eat the entire day because I'm just working from home doing like a lot because it's, it's a crazy day. But that doesn't mean where there's time periods where like it may be, you know, less busy, but I have other things to do. I can now worry about other things. I'm a student. I want to take care of my, my classwork. Yeah. We have businesses that we, we operate. Yeah. If you want to look at that. Like I still use that time productively if I want to, or I can take that time back and maybe relax. You work hard, you get your job done. Um, if your manager and your place of work isn't complaining about how you're performing and you're you're doing a good job, look like that's there's nothing wrong with that at all. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, us, you know, we've used uh, our extra time to help expand and build new businesses. So if you work from home for an extended period of time, I know like a lot of us may be going back to the office or whatever, but. We have, we have some time, yeah, like about a year, maybe six, seven months. And like, you're going to be hearing all the creative stuff. Like when you go back to office of what your coworkers have been doing yeah. um, on the company's clock sometimes, so yep. you, you know, sometimes after, but just saving that time. A lot of people doing some cool stuff, man. Let's say you want to go get a new job, right? Yep. How important is the ability to work from home to you? And how important do you oh. think it is going to be for like the, the workforce? Like our workforce oh, is yeah, that's, that's very important. Yeah. That's very important. To me, I like to travel and I've been traveling, you know, a little bit. So that's very important. I know people who refuse to look at a job if there's not some type of flex model. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm one of them. <laughs> I don't think I can go back to a job that's just like straight up every day. That means like... You can't travel as much like i enjoy traveling going somewhere and spending a week working from there you know like a lot of people enjoy that too you know there's so many different things you can do or just working from maybe not your house just maybe yeah. somewhere else in the area you know like, yeah. i mean not taking that away once you give someone something man it's hard. you can't take it away it's you hard. can't take it away. if you're gonna take it away you gotta take it away in the first two months mm -hmm. it's been too long it's been a year <laughs> it's been some change you know it's a, it's a while you can't just come in and just take that away and expect Things should just be back to normal. Normal has changed. That's done. You know, we can't, we can't, we can't revert back to our old ways. So that about wraps it up. We were just discussing work from home. What are your thoughts about this? Leave anything in the comments down below. Have you been working from home? How has it been for you? What are your thoughts on it? Do you think this is going to continue to grow? And what have you been doing with your extra time? Because we all know we got a little bit more time just from working from home. So let us know what you've been doing with your extra time. Yeah. And while, you, while you're down there, don't forget to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Share this video with a friend. It really does help the channel out a lot. We have to please the algorithm, so help us out. Cool. And uh, I guess we'll see you guys on the next one.